Hello dear viewers, welcome back to Cybrosis. So today in this video, I'll show you how to purchase products in different unit of measure. So it's really simple to do. I'll take you to that. First of all, what you have to do is go to the sales module. Now here's the sales module. Okay, it's loading. Let's wait. Now if you open it, you have this configuration there. Go to the configuration and inside the configuration, you can find this unit of measure categories. Open that. And once you open that, you can see all the existing ones. Okay. So I'll just do a slight edit on an existing one. You have this unit, unit of measure opening that. So the unit of measure category is unit and the unit of measures are dozens. Okay. So I'm going to add a line to it. I'm going to add a new unit of measure, which is called bunch. Okay. And I'm marking it as bigger than the reference unit. And then you have to mark the ratio. I'm adding it as eight. That is, this is eight times bigger than the reference unit of measure. So that's done and I'm going to save it. Okay, so that's done. So what we've done is we've created a unit of measure for the unit of measure category unit, which is called bunch. Okay, and we've given the ratio as eight. Now I'm going to create a product. Okay, let's go to the product section. And here I'm going to create a new product. So the name of the product, I'm giving it as flowers. So flowers I've created, then you have the product type, you can mark it as whatever it is, I'm putting it as storable product. And then you have the unit of measure. Now this is the unit of measure in which the stock operations take place. And this is the purchase unit of measure. That is the unit of measure in which we purchase the product. So let the unit of measure be units itself. And I'm changing the units, that is the purchase UOM as, let's go and change. We have this thing called bunch. So I'm putting bunch okay now you have this cost price over here i'm changing the cost to 100 and this sales price also let it be 100 okay so 100 is the cost price i'm just saving it and starting this product okay so what we have done we have created a new unit of measure we've created a new product now what you have to do we have to go to the purchase module now let's purchase this product so here's the purchase module I'm going to create a new RFQ for the product which we created right now. So go on and click on new. Add the vendor. So let the vendor be Anita Oliver. Okay, so the vendor is added. Then you have the order deadline, the expected arrival and all such things. I'm going to the product line section and from there I'm going to add my product which is flowers. So the quantity is one and if you just take a look at the unit price, the price of the product is automatically 800 and also the unit of measure is bunch. Because we've already mentioned that the purchase unit of measure will be bunch. And the unit of price is 800. So how, how did it become 800? The cost price which we've given for this product was 100. So I've already mentioned bunch is 8 times bigger than the reference unit. So 8 times bigger in the sense it will become 800, right? So that's 800 over here. And then you can simply confirm the order. See the order is confirmed. I'm going to receive the product. So while receiving the product, here comes the demand quantity. So here are the demand, it's eight. Okay, how did it become eight? As I said before, it's eight times bigger than the refer reference unit. Now you can validate it. Okay, validation and all is done. See, that's done. Okay, so that's basically how you do this and you can create bill for it. Okay, I'm going to create a bill and I'm confirming it. Okay, so what you have to do is you have to specify the bill date. Don't forget why you do that. So I'm putting the bill date and I'm confirming it. Okay, so you can do the payment and all. I'm going to register the payment and complete the process. Create payment. And that's done. It's in payment state. So that's how you buy that product. That was the product which we have given as unit of measure. We bought it as the unit of measure bunch. Okay, now if you just go to sales and create a sale order, that is a quotation. And let's try to put that product over here. Let's try to sale it. I mean, that's, I mean, let's try it inside the sale. So marking the customer as deco. And then we are adding the product as flower. So here you can see the unit of measure is unit. Okay, while in purchase module, it's in bunches. And here it is in unit and the unit price is 100. Because the reference unit of the category unit is units, right? So there the reference ratio I've given it as one itself. So the unit price will be 100. 
in co- in case of purchase it was bunches and bunches was marked as bigger than the reference which is 8 times bigger so here the cost price is 100 and there it becomes 800 okay so this is how you sell and purchase a same product in different unit of measure i hope it's clear for you guys thank you so much for watching see you in the next video